نسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد يا أفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهما السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوان عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره روي عن سيدنا ومولانا الإمام أمير المؤمنين عليه الصلاة والسلام أنه قال ثلاث من حافظ عليها سعد three habits if one maintains them these three habits he or she will attain happiness and peace number one إذا ظهرت عليك نعمة فاحمد الله تعالى when Allah bestows a gift on you this gift sometimes material you buy a new house new car inshallah and you have a son a daughter your son graduates the physician tells you this checkup that you made is good excellent you have good health whatever blessing even when you have a meal today when you eat this meal you have it but others they don't have this meal when you have a clean drinking water, you may have it, but millions of people, they don't have access to this clean drinking water. Give thanks. Ahmadillah ta'ala. Give thanks. Remember that it is not you who provided this to yourself. It is a sustainer, a provider, who's taking care of you and your family. Always teach yourself to say, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Give thanks. And praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people, they receive the gift, but they keep complaining. They complain even when they receive the gift, because they want bigger. This is a small. No, I, I deserve more than this. Allah says, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ Give thanks to the small one, I will provide you with a bigger gift. The second, the second trait, وَإِذَا أَبْطَأَ عَنْكَ الرِّزْقِ فَاسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى When there is some interruption in your provision, the income is not good, the market is not good, the business is slow, there is a reason. There is a real reason behind that. Seek forgiveness. Because one of the things that cut off the sustenance from people and deprive them from God's blessings is sin when they sin when they commit a sin a violation so Allah sends a wake-up call to them so when you see there is some interruption in your business in your income go back to Allah Astaghfirullah ta'ala seek forgiveness seek forgiveness for, for what you did sometimes you realize what you did you are aware of it and sometimes you are not oftentimes we commit sins and we are unaware we think we are not guilty. We think we are innocent. We did not do something wrong. But we did something wrong. So we have to resort back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when there is little income, when there is shortages in, in your income. The third, Amir al muminin says, وَإِذَا أَصَابَتْكَ شِدَّةٌ When you are afflicted with a test, with an affliction, with a calamity, with a loss, 
ولا تاجدي واذا اصابتك شده فاكثر من قول لا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم always try to repeat this to repeat this sentence لا حول there is no force there is no power ولا قوه except by my lord بالله العلي العظيم always try to repeat this connect with allah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam says لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله كنز من كنوز الجنة. It is a treasure trove of paradise if you are able to appreciate the meaning of لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. In another hadith, the Prophet says, باب من أبواب الجنة. Its a main gate to heaven is the saying and the belief in this sentence لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. عن النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم من قال إذا خرج من بيته Please teach your children this sentence Teach them Be the one who teaches them every single day When they ride with you in the car When you take them to school Say this إذا خرج once a person A believer says this بسم الله Three sentences Very short بسم الله توكلت على الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله يقال له an angel will say to that person, يقال له هديت وكفيت ووقيت. هديت, you have been guided, هداية. كفيت, you have been sufficed. You don't need people, you don't need the help of others as long as Allah is helping you. ووقيت, you are protected from مقاية. هديت وكفيت ووقيت. What do you want more? More than these three gifts. By simply saying and believing inside your heart. You and your family. Teach the kids to say this. Say Bismillah. Rather than turning the radio to the music immediately. Loud music. Say these three things. Say it. Moment of silence when we begin. And this is the responsibility of the fathers and the mothers. It is your responsibility. When you sit in the car. Before you drive, say to your family, they learn from you. The kids, they learn, and they pass it to the next generation. Bismillah, la tawakkaltu ala Allah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. And finally, Imam al-Sadiq, alayhi salatu wa salam, says, Man qara'a la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah al-aliyya al-azim mi'ata marratin bil-yom. Believe me, 100 times of this sentence, it takes no more than seven minutes. No more than seven to eight minutes. While you are driving, while you are sitting and watching TV, while you are waiting for the food to arrive. Hundred times. Allah will protect him against shield him against 70 types of afflictions and disasters, 70 types. The least of them are distress and anxiety. The least. Here in America, 83% of the people they use, 83% of the people they don't enjoy full peaceful sleep during the night. Many of them they survive on sleeping pills. Go and check it out. 83%. Allah has given us beautiful prescription. You don't have to have Obamacare, you don't have to have insurance. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم. But with belief, when you believe in that, when you interact, when you read, you have to interact. You have to know what you are saying. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم. Please, they asked me to recite this ayah to bring, inshallah, shifa and healing and relief to many of our dear community members who are waiting for our dua during these holy hours. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim, amman yujih ul-mustarra idha da'ah wa yakshifu al-suh, amman yujih ul-mustarra idha da'ah wa yakshifu al-suh, أمن يجيب المصطر إذا أدعاه ويكشف السوء
أمن يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه ويكشف السوء أمن يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه ويكشف السوء يا الله من على مرضانا بالشفاء والعافية المريضة المنظورة اللهم ألبسها ثوب الصحة والعافية اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم اجعل كلمة الإسلام هي العليا وكلمة أعداء الله هي السفلى اللهم وحد كلمة المسلمين على الخير والبر والصلاح والتقوى يا أرحم الراحمين من على مرضانا بالعافية داوي جرحانا فك أسرانا وسجناءنا فرج عنا وعن المؤمنين في سوريا والعراق واليمن ومصر وفي كل مكان يا أرحم الراحمين وعجل في فرج سيدنا ومولانا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد